hello everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Masa and if you're a returning subscriber thank you for coming back today I'm going to share my experience and share some of the tips and tricks that helped me improve this language along the way and you can see it yourself Well, the first step is to be mentally prepared for whatever language that you're learning. You should set a language study plan. It doesn't need to be perfect. It can be just anywhere from 15 minutes a day to hours a day. It really depends on yourself. You know yourself better than anyone else, so plan the best for you. Just be careful not to skip the specific time that you're setting aside to do your study. I personally use Notion to plan everything, like from my daily tasks to my study plans. And you can find a lot of tutorials online on YouTube, so I'm not really talking about this in here. Uh, but just go search Notion and you'll find a lot of related things about it. And it's such a great system for specifically for people who want to study. And sometimes I also use my a bullet journal to just, you know, plan out the whole week. So I know when I'm going to study. And if I need to change the study plan, I would know that if like right now in quarantine, I'm not doing anything. I'm just home. But if uh, there's any need to do any changes due to my work, I will just Put it there. Well, depending on the country that you're living in, it might be different. But in my country, I could find like three different kind of books, which was Hittit, Yediklim, and Istanbul, which I started learning Turkish with Hittit, and it was recommended by friends and as I did my research I figured out that it's what teachers are teaching at institutes so I started with that and some teachers consider it as an outdated book but it doesn't mean that you cannot learn from it because grammar is grammar and that's what you typically get from the book grammar if you're worried about your listening your speaking and your writing books are not really be that helpful for you the best things that i got from that book was the homework and like all the things that i could do on my own on the workbook and that's it the readings were so boring and you know nothing too special about the books so no high hopes on the books Another option is children's book. Just beside that main book that you are going to study, you can go for children's book. You can learn a lot of simple and basic things from them and you can finish them really soon, like in no time. And you'll feel good after that you read that book because it's simple, it is some like easy task that makes you feel good just remember feeling good while you're learning a language really helps you improve much faster and remember all you need is feeling good another thing that would really help you improve your reading skills is reading magazines and newspapers or even sometimes catalogs because when i was in istanbul buying makeup and things like that they were giving me some brochures and catalogs that i could take a look at and there were so many words that i learned from catalogs if you do not believe me try it yourself there are things that you need to learn from the life routine and the way people really live it you know living the language and like makeup is part of a woman's life and i need to go and shop those things for example in istanbul and i need to speak that out loud in turkish so i need to know what item i'm looking for what color it is for like for example if it's a skincare product you would say what type of skin you need that product for and 
also magazines and newspapers would depending on the genre uh, you can learn about politics not not that you would just understand the whole thing that you're seeing with your eyes but you can learn a lot of words from newspapers and magazines as i said before depending on the genre you can learn a lot of new words and it will help you a lot later like if you're interested in fashion and cooking and i don't know like any other hobby you can just learn related words depending on the magazine or newspaper you're buying for yourself and it will help you a lot one of the apps that i've been using for years is duolingo and i've been using this app for languages like german french arabic for like a month and i never continued it and also turkish and i think like a few years ago, I don't know when, I'm not sure about the date, but when it was like somehow new to the platform, the pronunciation was awful, to be honest, specifically for Turkish, like for languages like German and French that had like more people into them and more people learning online. It was really good. I think everything was good. Even now that I'm talking about this, there are features available for those languages that you cannot see uh, for Turkish. And that's like, a, I don't know what to call it but i'm kind of upset about this but you can always use this app to just practice some simple words and i'm by saying this i'm not telling you go install this application and just guarantee your learning no it's just another tool to help you improve this uh, language that you're learning there are also other applications that help you memorize and learn new words and expand your vocabularies like Anki or other flashcard applications. Some people prefer to put it on paper and just hang it on the wall. Some people like to have it on their phone. So that's totally up to you. If you like to have it on your phone, go for it. If not, go and do it on paper. There is only one application left that I really want to mention in here and that's Tandem. I don't know if you have ever heard of it or not, but that's something that I've learned from a lot. This is not an advertisement, but I really love to talk about it in here. I learned a lot from this application and not from this application, from people who are available in this application. And you can uh, literally find a lot of friends in there and uh, people would teach you their native language and you can return the favor with uh, teaching them your mother tongue or helping them with the languages you're learning like them at the same time or like anything like that. For example, I'm native in Farsi, I'm fluent in English and um, I'm like beginner in Turkish and I will set all those levels and then someone like me would come up like if for example I'm learning Turkish, a Turkish uh, native speaker would chat with me. There is an option to correct the sentences. There's like a dictionary available and all these are free. Like there's limits for the words that you're translating within the app and things like that. But that's generally free and you can just chat with people, uh, give them feedback and you can do a video call, a voice call, or you can just uh, send text or photos. I think that's amazing. You can just practice with native speakers and that's all you need. As I've mentioned before, you need to learn languages through real life and part of real life is virtual life. And people on Instagram and YouTube would be a huge help for you. You just need to follow people who speak Turkish or who are Turkish and uh, you will learn from them. Like there are so many things that are not written in any books and no one would ever mention it without you asking them. So uh, go find people who speak Turkish, follow their Instagram, uh, read the captions they write, use the translation, ask your private teacher if you have any, um, ask your friends on Tandem for example or your native friends if there are any available or search it on the internet. You know just the point here is that you would just get the data and then you're able to dig it deeper yourself. Also finding YouTubers or people who are making videos in Turkish would help a lot and the good thing is that there are lots of Turkish youtubers out there doing everything from makeup to technology reviewing unboxing and everything that you would love to like if you're into books there are so many people reviewing books and even recommending so maybe you can get some recommendations from them and go buy the books and you know that's another bonus mm -hmm. 
If you have watched my other video, how to fill your empty notebooks, you probably remember these notebooks from that video. I write everything about Turkish in these two notebooks. Actually, I have already uh, filled the first one and I'm using the second one, but since there are lots of grammar written down in the first notebook, I'm still keeping it and use it as a reference whenever I need to go to find something specific among my notes. You don't need to go for something fancy and that's obvious, you're going to write things that you need to check from time to time or you know just refer to if you need to. So just don't stop learning because you don't have beautiful notebooks. And as someone who is addicted to stationaries and notebooks, I'm telling this to you. So just take this advice from me, please. So you don't need anything fancy, you don't need anything specific, just find a notebook and start writing in it. But the thing that you really need to focus on is to be really neat and organized because if your notes are all over the place, you will never refer to them because you don't know like where everything you need is. Because it's like a dumpster for your brain and you might just fill it with random stuff so uh, if you need a notebook like that go for it just take two one for the serious stuff and one for your brain dump so you can just use both of them but be careful with the one that is the main one you got me right try to be organized and use a system if you need highlighters washi tapes stickers whatever that would just put you in the mood to study just go for it um if you're almost 30 and you still love stickers, that's totally fine. Even if you're older and you still love them, just do that. You need to just beautify the process for yourself. You're learning a language and it's a huge, huge thing. You should be grateful for this. You should love yourself for that. And you need to just enjoy the little things, shouldn't you? So that's it for today's video. If you like it, just give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next one. Bye!